Andrew Luck, Hall of Famer, question mark. God, no. I mean, I know it's <laughs> slow now. I mean, I, I saw Wait, that. wait, wait. Who brought this up? There's, a, there's an NFL Rookie Watch Twitter account that just kind of dropped it out there. Oh, his first six seasons were insane. And, you know, Hall of Fame eligible in 2024. Well, we are too. But we ain't getting in and he ain't getting in. <laughs> so, I mean, it just – it's uh, – it's his prerogative to walk away. But do we look at the quarterbacking position the way we did the running back position with Terrell Davis and Gail Sayers? Well, but Terrell Davis won a Super Bowl and Gail, or two, and Gail Sayers had rare, unprecedented talent. The problem with the quarterback position is there's so many great ones. I mean, if Andrew Luck gets in, Phillip Rivers is in, it's a no-brainer. Eli Manning, it's a no-brainer. He's getting in anyway because his last name's Manning and he's got two Super Bowl wins. But, you know, you could look at aspects of his career and say it's a closer call than it should be. But if Andrew Luck gets in, look at all the guys currently playing who have a better case right now than Andrew Luck. So I don't think Andrew Luck would want to get in. I think he's sufficiently self-aware to realize that's part of the price of walking away at the front end or smack dab in the middle of your prime. He chose to not play. Why would he expect? I don't think he'd ever expect to be in the Hall of Fame. He could still come back, I guess, and put enough more years on paper to get into the Hall of Fame. But based on what he did before he chose to retire, it's, I think it's one thing. To have, and he could say, well, was in, his career was shortened by injury. And maybe it was. But still, he chose to walk away when he could have kept playing. And, and I, don't, I don't know how you get rewarded with a bronze bust for doing that. 